Hello, welcome to the first stencil art tutorial for the My Little Pony subreddit. My name's Ryan. I've been posting some of my stencil art over the last month or so, and a couple of people have asked me uh, what my process is, and one user asked if I would do a tutorial. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take this image of Fluttershy and turn it into a final piece of spray art, uh, documenting each step along the way. Uh, the first, the, This first video is pretty much just going to be about making the decision on your art, uh, your painting size, and determining the number of layers you're going to need to make. Uh, so as far as size is concerned, we're just going to choose a 9 by 12 canvas that I had on hand. And for that, we're just going to make stencils using 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is just make sure that we've sized our image uh, appropriately. Just jump into image size. And I already cut it down to 7 and a quarter by 10 and a half, uh, just keeping the proportions constrained so that it wouldn't smush and get all weird looking. Uh, so that'll that size is pretty good for printing on an eight and a half by eleven sheet. Uh, there's enough space around the image on the stencil that this, it'll be pretty strong, and you'll be able to lift it off the canvas without uh, without it tearing after putting down your layer of spray paint. Uh, also, the size allows for plenty of negative space around the image itself, just to give it a, a good sense of balance. When it comes to choosing how many layers you're going to do, uh, for an image like this, it actually sort of makes the decision itself. Uh, namely, we're going to use one stencil or layer per color. For this one, we actually have a handful of different colors that we have to think about. So we've got the light pinks, the, the dark pink highlights, the, the light pink of the face, or light yellow of the face, excuse me, the dark yellow highlights, uh, white, uh, black for the eye, and finally the iris. Even though in the image it's a couple of different colors, we're just going to stick with one so that we don't have to buy all these different colors of paint, make a stencil for each one, and make sure they all line up appropriately when we're going to make the final piece. Uh, that could get pretty tricky and the amount of paint could get expensive. Uh, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to stick with one image uh, or one color. Uh, we're going to go from one about like that uh, sort of middle of the road in this gradient here. Uh, so that's seven total stencils we're going to need to make. Uh, some people like to break their stencils out into separate layers. So like, oh, we're going to take all this pink. What the hell? Yes, there we go. Sorry. We're going to take all this pink and we're going to move it to its own layer. And we're going to print only that. So we're going to move it to a layer. And we're going to print only just this pink. And that's great. If you want to do that, you can. Uh, I purpose. I don't like doing that, actually. I like to just print the same image, you know, n number of times, depending on the number of stencils we need to do. So for this one, I printed it seven times. And just for each one, I just cut out a different color. Um, it helps me when I'm lining up images to be able to see you know, it's like, oh, okay, I'm moving moving everything over. It's like, oh, okay, now this yellow is touching the yellow that's already down on the canvas, so I know it's all lined up pretty well. Um, it also just helps me keep track of the overall larger picture instead of just looking at tiny little sections. Um, so that's about it for this one. Uh, coming up with your stencils can take a bit of time if there's some technical aspects on this one, like uh, this is called what it's an island. If you cut out all just the dark pink, this piece would just fall away. So you have to find some way to connect it. Or uh, what I'm going to do for this one is print all the dark pink, like this, the whole main as dark pink first, then spray in the light pink on top, and then the islands are just on a separate layer, and I don't even have to worry about them. Uh, so that, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I'm going to do another video talking about how I cut out my stencils. I'm going to go ahead and cut out most of them and just probably do one of the eyes in the video just so it doesn't take too long. Because uh, I think cutting out all these stencils will probably take me an hour, maybe an hour and a half. There's a fair bit of detail and you just want to take your time and be nice and careful about it. Uh, 
So that may be the only other video I do. The rest will probably be just uh, still images that I take during the painting process. And that's going to be it for this. Uh, I hope the tutorial will uh, inspire you to try your hand at stencil art. Uh, when you know everybody should try and make some art sometime. It's a uh, it's a lot of fun. All right, take it easy.